It's the birthday vlog! Wow! Um, I've still not got any voice, as you can tell. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow, but you'll be watching this one. It's been my birthday. Um, honestly, terrified. I don't know what it is about 26, but it's sending the fear into me, let me tell you. So I've just been to get my nails did. Can you see them? How cute are they? So I've got French um, tip with a heart because they're going to be my birthday nails, my Valentine's nails and my trip to Dubai nails. So I had to get three in one duo kind of thing. So I thought they'll last me um, and my nails last anyway. So obviously it's not for a while that trip but it's fine. I've just went and got my birthday cake as well which I'm just going to show you. And I popped into TK Maxx and I got myself a little like gift from me to me. Um, which is this little bear brick necklace. Why is my camera just not focusing today? I think it's because of the background, but how gorgeous is that? They also had like a gold one with like all like um, colourful jewels in, but it just went a bit of me. Also, ignore how I look. I'm basically holding off my hair, obviously for tomorrow, so it's like giving slick pony. Um, I wasn't going to go to Pilates tomorrow, like because of the birthday, have a day off, but I need to be in tip-top shape because of it rubbish for the past few days like i don't know why i think it's acceptable when i'm going on holiday soon anyway i want to show you my birthday cake because it's gorgeous drum roll please so this is actually from the cake hole in liverpool <laughs> i'm sorry it's given pinterest it's given pinterest i literally just sent them the design um it's fully vegan like the whole all they do is i'm sure i've showed you before but i will literally never be over the fact that that cake's vegan honestly even if you're not vegan it tastes like school cake remember like that angel school cake you used to get that's the one i get them to make me and oh my god i'm obsessed with the cake hole like they do um cookies and cakes and biscuits and all sorts and they drop them off to like a vegan shop and um, by ours which is just amazing they do it every wednesday so when i go to pilates like every other week i'll go and treat myself but don't need to this week because i've got a full cake and i can't wait to I will eat the whole thing before Dubai and I'm not even bothered. I also wanted to show you, yeah. oh my god, this, <coughs> I think I've got laryngitis. I do get it once a year and it's always in January, don't even ask. Anyway, I got the Alessi Dupe toaster. I put this on my TikTok before the new year and honestly, you guys, you guys are rootless. I can't put anything up without me buying it and it was in the sale. I think it was like £12 and it was like, it was originally like 17 so it was only cheap and um, we got it in the black. Our two sets actually broke, which I'm half glad because I'm waiting a fan, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to open that as well. Like, I'm at that, that age where a toaster is exciting me. Like, make it make sense. I also wish that this kitchen was different, but this ain't my house, so I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. Blessed to be under this roof. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I'm 26 tomorrow. I haven't even asked for every, anything. Everyone's like saying I'm annoying them because like, I don't ask for nothing, which I don't because I'm really lucky with what I've got. So yeah, let's proceed with the birthday vlog. Oh, I can't believe it. Welcome to the I Am Now 26 Diaries. I'm sorry, I can't. I absolutely can't. Um, I literally, I've had a whirlwind, it's literally nearly three o'clock now and now. Um, I feel no different in a good way. I thought I was going to cry, I haven't cried yet. We're all, we're all proud of me. Um, literally got up this morning, went to my Pilates class, washed my hair, even though it's pointless because it's absolutely windy as anything out there. And it's literally pitch black as well, not ideal. Um, I've just opened my gifts and that. Look at what my mate Charlie got me. A balloon dog and a new bear brick. Like... Honestly, how lovely, how thoughtful is that? You know, like when a mate like thinks of you, I actually don't even own a balloon dog, and now I do, and that's my own friend. Like, <laughs> and I also got my cousin got me some gorgeous bits from East Bar. I haven't really like, I haven't really like asked for much because I'm going to Dubai, so it's sort of asked for spend. But my mum and dad got me this print, which I have literally been desperate for, and I'm absolutely made up with it. I haven't opened it yet because I want to do a TikTok, so I'll show you it once it's like up and all that. And um, what else did I want you to show you? My mum made me this card. She makes the like the best cards, and everyone always asks like, is she selling them? And she's not, which I think she should. Then I've got me bear holding me balloon. Um, so yeah, I'm going for me tea later, which I'm really excited for. Going to um, San Carlo in town. 
Um, I usually go to Gino's. You're all going to be thinking, oh my god, you're a Gino's girl. I usually am. But I went to San Carlo once last year and now I think I'm a San Carlo friend. I've never, ever been to San Carlo in my whole entire life. Like, I feel like that was always like the place to, like, to go in Liverpool. When like, you were growing up, they'd be like, I'm going to San Carlo for my birthday. And I never went. I went literally once last year and it was gorgeous. So I thought, you know what? I'm now going to live my childhood dream. 26 and go to San Carlo because why not? Um, but yeah, I haven't sort of be cake out and all that. I like I've opened all my cards and that, but I like like celebrating it with like my mum and dad and that, so like I like to do it all together, do you know what I mean? But anyway, I need to go and put some makeup on before it goes pitch back and I literally can't see. Um and then I will I will get back to you just to let you know the situ. I have not got an outfit to wear tonight for my own birthday. Make it make sense, like how unprepared am I? But like Dubai's been on the brain. You're probably going to be made up once I've been because I haven't shut up, but I haven't been on holiday for like over three years, so prepare to be sick. birthday vlogger ever i've got my little setup i just took the cutest little insta pic you know you've got to do what you've got to do let me show you this because it's quite cute will it focus i feel actually really happy today like i'm shocked because usually if i got cake on my mouth i've literally just opened that cake by the way it's amazing i'll show you in a minute i haven't cried today I know, I always cry my birthday, I haven't cried today. Whether I might do tomorrow, I don't know. But I feel like the need to share that with you is because I feel like no one talks about it. No one talks about the fact that you cry on your birthday. And if you don't, great. I cry on like Christmas and birthdays, it's not really good. Anyway, um, I went to San Carlo. Unreal. Like, as I say, I only went once last year and it was gorgeous. I was like, Jim, I want to go back for my birthday. Did not regret it. I got arancini and I got risotto. All the girls laugh at me because any time we go to a restaurant, I'm like, can I have a risotto, please? And they're like, that's so boring. But I love a risotto. Don't know what it is, I just love a risotto. So yeah, I'll insert some pixel bits or try and get some off my phone. Because I didn't even take my camera. I just wanted to enjoy my time with my family. Um, and it's hard trying to balance it because the guilt as well, not getting content and things like that, isn't very nice. So that is that. Well, how cute is they? Um, are they even my mum with them off Amazon? And also, um, I said, didn't I, before that, I was waiting for a book to come. I haven't opened my print. I'm going to open that tomorrow. Um, I got this, the pivot year. I always speak highly of Brianna West, I think that's how you say her name. I speak so highly of this author. When I say she has literally unintentionally been my therapist and got me out of so many things in my life like ruts and like really bad like mental head places whatever you want to call it she has honestly helped me i'll link all her books below the one um 365 stories or something that will change your life and um, she's got this is how you heal so i want to change i want to read that because i've seen loads of people on tiktok like read out like paragraphs from it anyway my cake everyone was hard because i took that many pictures they were like have you ate it yet there's my Honestly, I feel like I'm about to explode. Also, big self for a piece of ever. Like, if you know me, I wore this ASOS dress, like the full rig out for boxing night. And as I said before, I didn't even buy an outfit for my birthday. I'm just trying to be more fashion conscious this year, which is a bit of a lie because no, I am. I am. We're clothes I already own, but I'm getting new clothes for me holes. That's different, isn't it? That is different. But I'm trying to be more fashion conscious with the stuff I own in my wardrobe. So, a scene, I don't know who it was on. Um, Insta, I don't know, but he has a leopard print skirt with an oversized black tee and a blazer. I thought that looks good. The only thing is, I couldn't take the blazer off because you would have seen the sleeves, which is a little bit embarrassing. But anyway, I'm absolutely going off on one here. But yeah, I've got a few things this week to do work wise, interior wise, keeping you all up to speed. Obviously, we'll do a few interior shops over the next few days. Um, but I've had a, such a lovely birthday, and do you know what I find really nice as well? Vlogging it, being able to look back and document them like. <laughs> like hi kids like my future kids are going to be watching my vlogs online which is absolutely crazy but i always howl because you know um 
Lydia and like Chintia and that. Well, Chintia's sister Lydia, I watch her vlogs and she always goes, Hi kids, it's your mom. And I think, no, that's actually so mad because when I'm older, my kids are going to be watching my vlogs. They're probably absolutely being more sad and embarrassed, which I don't blame them. But it's just mad to think like that, isn't it? Will this still be a thing in like 10 plus years? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I had a gorgeous birthday and I will check in with you tomorrow. Oh my god, yous, how gorgeous is that sunset? But also, how gorgeous is this view? Home sense, so. I know, a little show. 26 is not looking great right now. Um, I was literally just an hour's working, and then the guys were like, Ella Spurbrick's new ones. So, of course, I had to run here. So, yeah, I feel like I look the same on every single vlog. I just have the same base layer, okay. But the same, different underlayer, okay. Oh my god, yous, how Amelia's is this set up? No, I don't know how gorgeous these cushions are. I'm sorry, Jonathan Adler who? They are giving major Jonathan Adler vibes and they're literally 12 99 50, 45 pounds, I don't know what the brand is. Happy home, where's Bombay Duck? Oh, but look at this. This whole like merchant area is given major like Ellie Mrs. Home Sense vibes because I used to love doing the merch. Oh my God. I was saying I lost my voice again then, but that is a mushroom lamp. Oh, that's gorgeous. No, how fab is that? I feel like I want that. Oh my god, Jesus, I found them. How unreal is that? Absolutely obsessed with every single one of them. That one's got I love you written all over it. Oh my god, how gorgeous is that as well? Give them Jonathan Adler. Oh, I love that. How much is that? 10 99 Stop. Oh my god, Jesus, I've made moves to TK Maxx. I know it says Hip Hip Array, which is kind of giving birthday, but is it Easter? I don't know. But I have to go, by the way. I've literally just opened the artwork that I got for my birthday and I can't wait to show you. But I also want to show you my favourite necklace and put it on. How cute is that? I do like this little stringy thing we've got going on, but we'll sort that. But how cute is it? I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, so I've just got the artwork and I cannot get over it. How unreal is it? You can literally see the reflection of everything in the background, which I don't like. I think I'm going to take this cover off because like, I'm not going to get good pictures for like, Instagram and TikTok. I know that sounds really vain, but that's the reality of it. But I'm obsessed with it. So it says, fly in Prada or stick to coach. Now, this is technically a dupe because I said I wanted to get into like art collecting and things like that. But it's from an artist called... Is it Tiggy? Oh, I keep forgetting her name. I even forgot it when I was recording the video, which I hate because like just like rude to the artist you know um she's called tiggy tice hairst and that's what it's supposed to look like um so it's kind of got like a sort of like you know when you're in school and you used to like get tea bags and like put it around the frame i feel like that's the only difference so really i actually could do that myself you know like around it which i might do to sort of go with like the neutral vibe also i had a collab this week with crown paint i don't know whether i mentioned it i've been working with crown paint on instagram not on here and I've painted my wall in antique cream. Now, it's not, not I'm wild and out there, you know, I'm a neutral queen. But how gorgeous does it look? Like, you can tell, like, from, like, the minty white ceiling, how beautiful. When I say them crown paints are delicious, I will never get another paint in my, like, life. Because that was just, I painted it. I painted it. Like, that's how you know it was good, because I could do it. Like, I'm not really, like, my dad's a builder, so, to be fair, I make him do everything. <laughs> he built this place, so, yeah, um... Anyway, where was I going with that? Yeah, so I'm just over the moon. Like, am I officially getting old? Like, I've wanted this piece of art for ages. Sorry. My oh, God. See, this is why I'm rubbish. I just go off on one, you know. Anyway, this is off Etsy. I'll tag the girl below. She was so lovely. Um, I asked her if she could, because you could edit the sizes. I've got a Desenio frame here, which is 50 by 70. And the frame and the print she done was either too big or too small. Dead nice. It's fitted the size for me. Amazing. Um, so I'll link that below off Etsy. Dead cheap. Like, oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. Because the real one is £650. <laughs> And I want to get into art collecting, but just not right now. And I'm not paying £650 for a print just yet. I mean, in 10 years when I'm still filming these vlogs and I've got like £650 artwork on my walls, don't at me. But for now, the one off Etsy will do. And also how, because I literally didn't know what I wanted for my birthday. And my dad was like, what do you want for your birthday? I was like, do what not, you know? And then I was like, do you know what? Actually, I do I want that print. So am I officially getting old? Or is that like, I think that's a nice present, isn't it? So anyway, I don't know where to put it. Um... I'll bring you up in a minute, but I'm thinking here. You can see better there, actually. Here. Oh, because of the podcast. Do a pop it here. What do we think? The only issue with that is I would have to take the film off because um, you can see the reflection when I'm filming. And when I say you are piled high 
on a massive amount of things I need to put on Vinted. I've got 6, 8, 10, 12 massive bin bags of clothes that I need to sell. And it's just the effort. Like, if I could pay someone to do it for me, I probably would. But then would the people just probably make no money on <laughs> Vinted? Make it make sense. But anyway, I'm absolutely made up with this print. But now, um, let me pop it here. I am actually going into town because I've been invited. Um, she's called the Charm Gal. Um, I'll be bringing you with me. Um, I'm getting permanent like welded jewellery onto me. And I thought that is so fitting because like Gilly's 26 now. Also how I've just been doing a video with all my bare bricks. It's quite embarrassing really. Oh, how gorgeous is that print? <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Yeah, so I'm going to get permanent welded jewellery. The biggest commitment I've ever made in my life, bear in mind. So I'm really excited, really nervous. And I thought it'll be nice because like before my hauls to get like permanent jewellery and I wear like loads of silver jewellery on them wrists when I go away and it wipes. Honestly, I'm pale as anything right now. I use, I'm hanging on to put tan on till I go away because you know what it's like. You don't want to be like a patchwork quilt. So when I say I've been pasty for the whole of January and now into Feb, I'm not joking. I just want to clean sheet to wear with you know so if that's why i'm like six different colors and a patchwork quilt that is why and um, but yeah i'm going to get that now so i'm really excited it's gonna bring you with me and i just feel like me, me room is finally coming alive like i just need to like this needs restyling it needs painting what colors you'll paint that i'm thinking black but then i was gonna paint the babe i was basically like we need to hold the studio right print gonna go either there or there but that's where i film the podcast I don't know whether you see my last video, but I went to Home Sense and they had a chocolate brown um, boucle chair. And then everyone was like, Ellie, why don't you just recover it yourself? Like, no point paying out, like, £250 for a new chair when you just get in the same chair. And I was like, you're so right. So, this is like me Soho Home dupe chair. I've left the label, on and I don't know why. But if everyone wants to know, it's did for 99 I'm thinking, like, this sort of, like, chocolate brown colour, like, with the pampas. I just feel like I need, I need chocolate brown, don't I? I actually caught, do you know what, I might go to town early actually and run to Abacan. Should we go to the fabric shop? Oh yeah, and then I'm thinking if I like it, I might do the, the headboard in my bedroom. And then here we have my unit. I don't know what colour to do that, by the way. It's styled abysmal. I've literally just, oh, shall I expose myself? No, I'm actually not. But you can see the rubble. This is where the rubble starts. <laughs> no, embarrassing. This is, this, is, this is the heat that I've got in this room. It's so cold. It's given cost of living crisis out here. It really is. Wait, and then behind, yeah, I've just got big, massive windows. I'm going to get some big blinds. I sort of want to go for, like, you know, the Abby Clancy and the um, Peter Crouch podcast where they've got them gorgeous, like, floor to ceiling curtains i kind of want then um and then i've got a desk there and a chair i'm selling it letting everyone know on here i am selling it so if you have seen it on my instagram and you do want it it will be collection only let me know um i am going to put that on my instagram now over the next few weeks probably when about half my hours now because i just haven't got a minute um and also i haven't sorted any of my master class so behind on that i need to get me self into gear i've just had that much on but there is still tickets left there's only half the tickets left now they've sold so quick like quicker than last time and i like, know people are saying that they want to buy them for payday so which is literally coming up now for some people so yeah just letting you know the tickets might sell if you've not been to my last class or don't know about it make sure to head over to me instagram to get all the information and let me know if you want any more information but anyway she's so happy she's opened a print to be sitting there for two days and we're gonna go into town and i just need to shut up experience so there she is in all the glory i want it on this hand because i already have two silver bracelets you'll get silver you'll get gold and then i got a little e-charm on it so you can just have it plain she's got like moon stars and things like that now i only thought permanent jewelry jewelry can't speak permanent jewelry was done by um is it Astrid and Mia or someone? Because I know this is a pop-up in Bista Village. I thought they were the only ones who'd done it. No, sorry, I can get it done in Liverpool. And I literally said to her, I'm going to come back and get another one. So, like, it was dead good as well, because, like, I was panicking. I had, I had toothpaste on my wrist. At least I brushed my teeth. <laughs> um, but I was panicking because I thought, like, she was like, do you go to the gym? And I was like, well, yeah. So, if I did, like, a press-up, sounds mad. But your skin, like, kind of folds there. So, I was thinking, you know, if I do that, if I'm going, like, on my holes and my skin, like, swells a little bit, like, I needed to make sure it was alright for that. So, it's kind of, like, trapped in my other two bracelets, if that makes sense. But, honestly, I'm so, so happy with it. Um, 
But yeah, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Honestly, please walk in with her because apparently she's getting chocolate, which I'm not surprised because no one else does it. So yeah, I'm going to drive home. Oh my God, yous. I am literally just about to go out for my birthday lunch with the girls. And I literally, I literally went to Pilates this morning. And I had loads of texts and I was thinking, why are people texting me? This is so weird. No, yous, I've made it. No, I'm actually going to start crying to Liverpool's 30 under 30. So you only get 30 people in the whole Liverpool and I've made it onto that. No, like, what in the name? I am literally gobsmacked. I'm still like shaking by the way. The tan, we know I'm not tan until next week. But, oh my God, I can't actually believe that I've made it to Liverpool Stadium. It's basically the Forbes of Liverpool. Like, that's how it feels. Like, I actually, I'm, I'm beside myself. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so grateful. Like, me. Like, there's flipping, like, um... Luke Little are on there, there's me mates on there, Gabby who runs a podcast, Beth who runs Booster Tape, um, the girls from Propel, um, Trent the footballer, um, Paddy the Paddy, like, and then there's me. I was like, are you sure that's me? Like honestly I'm so grateful and overwhelmed and I can't thank everyone enough for being part of this journey. It's just insane since the beginning of 2024 and that's happened like, oh I'm mind blown, like thank you so so much, like, you don't get it, like I'm so so grateful, like... I actually can't even believe it. I can't. Me and my pasty white hands can't believe it. Like, that is just insane. I remember actually a few years ago, a girl had made it onto that list. And I was like, wow, what an achievement. I actually screenshot it. I've still got that screenshot. And I was like, I'd love to end up in the Liverpool 30 under 30. I didn't even know it was coming out today. I knew nothing about it. Like, what? Oh, I can't go. I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so much. Um, oh, just thank you so much. So, yeah, I'm going out for tea now. Well, like... Run. What would you call it? Like three o'clock, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going out for food. So I've got. I'll show you what I've got on. I've got my Zara jumper on. Woo! Zara flared jeans and my Chloe trainers that could do with going to like a professional shoe cleaner at some point. Um, and the bracelet is still braceleting and it's amazing. I've had a shower and everything in it. Boss. Um. So yeah, I'll try and get some footage. Um, with the girls, but obviously I'm going to do Dubai with these girls, so I'm thinking they need to learn how to be on the vlog, don't they? So I'll see if we can do a little bit of a a pre-footage before the Dubai footage, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go off with something to eat now. I feel so happy, you know, I feel just like, whoa, like, you know, when you just like, don't know what to do with yourself, like, this is not real life, like, crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much. Post it on my Instagram this morning. The amount of people who've sent me lovely messages has been so overwhelming. So it, it really means a lot. Um, I screenshot them all. I screenshot all my lovely messages. Um, I need to make a scrapbook, actually. I keep saying I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do this year, I have a little scrapbook. Um, but no, thank you so much. I am flipping in Liverpool's 30 under 30. Like, what? Mind blown. Thank you. Sorry, can we just discuss that I'm home and in bed by nine o'clock? Is this the new me? If so, I'm not particularly mad about it. I've literally just tidied my room as well, made me bed because I made it this morning. And if anyone follows me on Instagram, knows I said I'm a bit of a weirdo. If my bed's not made, I have to make it before I actually get into bed. But I'm not. I'm gonna edit this vlog, I think, because I would like, I wouldn't mind going for like, a little walk in Sefton Park tomorrow. I haven't been Sefton Park in ages, I was just thinking that. I was just talking to the girls then. Anyway, I haven't even told you about my nights. I tried my best to get some footage, but I'm not going to lie. We just had a really nice night. Well, like, afternoon. We went to Bacaro in town. If you've never been, please go. You probably have. Like, it's not like a hidden gem or anything, but like, it might be to people who've never been. Please go. The food is delicious. Um, And then we went just for one drink afterwards, and we were just chatting about, like, Dubai and all like life and stuff so I didn't really pick up the camera which isn't a bad thing but I also think like what a crap vlogger I am because I have not picked up the camera and showing you my day to day life but it's just hard and I'm just trying to learn and get into that sort of vlogger mindset again because I have sort of fell out of it but yeah um so as I say I'm going to edit this video now so it'll be with you tomorrow so I can enjoy my walk like Sefton Park is so gorgeous but like I just, I haven't been, I think because of the weather, like, in the summer, it's gorgeous, but, like, this time of year, it's just a bit like, ugh, do you know what I mean? But I feel like I just want to go, like, on a little solo date with myself tomorrow. I love solo dates, as you all know, but I feel like I really, I really want to do it. Did I show you my book? I've got one, because I don't know whether to, I mean, I'm going to edit this vlog, obviously, but, like, 
I got this book. It's called The Pivot Year. I've seen so many people on TikTok with it. And, like, they'd flip and read, like, one chapter. Like, because I feel like I didn't realise the layout out of it. So, I feel like I need to show you. It goes in, like, days. So, like, that says, like, day 170. Don't get me wrong. You can read it all at once. But, like, I was just thinking... Um, yeah, sorry, so I bought it because I've seen people reading it and, like, every one I hear, I start crying. Not in a bad way, just like, wow, that really resonates with me. So, yeah, that was part of my birthday present. But, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I wanted this vlog to be a bit more, like, birthday and whatnot and everything else. But I feel like stuff's got in the way. And also, me being Liverpool's 30 under 30. <laughs> sorry, I am just not over that and I just won't be like that. It's literally made my year and we're in February. Um, so yeah, I feel like I wanted to show more, but I feel like I was living life and it's hard to get that balance vlogging, living and documenting, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I can't wait for the next one because the next vlog you'll be watching is the Dubai prep and then the one after that will be Dubai. I'm so excited. I haven't been on holiday holiday for years, you, so prepare to be sick of me. If you're not following me on my other socials, make sure you are on my Instagram, on TikTok, at Feminine Interiors. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe whilst you're here. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.